Hello, users, and welcome to another episode of Let's All Laugh at Motherfucking Cringe. Okay, so. Damn, I said fuck in the first five seconds or something. Shit, now I'm gonna get demonetized anyway. Haha, <laughs> that's my YouTuber joke. I don't actually care about monetization status. I'm above it all. Welcome back, everybody, to Above It All. So, Joe Jorgensen is somebody I've literally, literally never heard of uh, before the Libertarian Party nominated her as the presidential candidate instead of Vermin Supreme, and so now I can officially stop paying attention to the Libertarian Party for the time being. But this was really funny. The night she was nominated, she kind of like posted this joke, which is is... The thing I like about libertarians is they do have a sense of humor, and I do respect that. Now, the thing about them is they use that sense of humor, and they have no sense of empathy, and so they just use humor in a lot of instances where empathy is required, and it makes them look cringe. Like when talking about, like, you know, mass death from a pandemic, it's just like, oh, well, you know, I want liberty and freedom to go outside and go eat a hamburger at the bar or whatever. So, like, libertarians, for the most part, are fucking stupid, but... And I'm specifically talking about the Libertarian Party in the United States and their official platform. But they can be funny at times. So she said, I like I'm with her. What do you think? Repurpose Hillary's branding for a candidate who actually stands for something. So this is the thing about this, right? Is that this isn't like... Like, the Libertarian Party doesn't do this, like, fucking paying millions of dollars for fucking, like, email chains where they develop these focus groups to find out strategies and marketing. They just have fun with it. So, like, the thing about this is that someone just, like, fucking saying, I'm with her, that's funny, you know? She's a woman, and let's just co-op Hillary Clinton's bullshit and make fun of her the whole time while doing it. I actually kind of like the strategy. If there is... But the thing is, like, there's no strategy behind it. It's just, like, a joke. But... This started to trend. Hashtag I'm with her started to trend. And there's a lot of replies that are just really funny. She stood for America and has a stellar resume and life of public service. Get the fuck out of here. From B-Man, 23, of course. And then you've got fuck off, Karen. Which is really funny because Karen is a word used to describe neoliberals. So it's funny when neoliberals call other people Karens. I think that's hilarious. Because it's one of those things where it's like the joke is clearly going over their head and they're just dumb as shit. This is only for Hillary Clinton and not for you. Go sit in a corner with Marianne Williamson and be silent. This is one of those things where, again, it's really strange. Like, Marianne Williamson is not a libertarian. She ran as a Democrat. So it's, like, really, like, these people have this, like, bizarre hatred, like, this bizarre affinity for hating people that are slightly different than them. And then they, like, group them up in these, like, weird ways. So you have, like, go sit in a corner with Marianne Williamson. It's bizarre. It's really weird stuff. I know you know. But it was one of the biggest letdowns when... Oh, never mind. This is, a good, this is actually a decent comment. How disgusting! Disgustingly disrespectful. Jill Stein, the Moscow Project 2.0. You are desperate, real Donald Trump. It's like, again, it's really weird, this cycle that people go through where third parties to them don't exist, right? They just never existed before in human history. But for Jill Stein, and she's like a Russian agent, and that's the only time third parties have ever existed. It's not like Gary Johnson got more votes than her in the 2016 election. Like, it's not like more people voted for the Libertarian, which is like a right-wing kind of Looney Tune ticket, than voted for the Green Party. But that's not important right now. That part of the story is a little, it's a little, it doesn't match up with my worldview enough. So I got to just leave that part out. So there's no such thing as the Libertarian Party until they nominate a woman. And because they nominated a woman, that means that that woman is basically basically Jill Stein, even though they believe in a completely different platform, and just because Jill Stein was pictured with Vladimir Putin once, all of a sudden, the libertarians are Moscow's. Like, they were born, they, ooh, this start, I saw a tweet, it was like, this started trending at Moscow time, and it's like, bitch, these people were literally on, like, a fucking all-nighter Zoom call celebrating their fucking party convention, like, it's like, ooh, 1am is whatever in Moscow, and it's like, what the fuck? These people are fucking ridiculous. They're dumb as hell. Really stupid folks. I'm with HRC. Never with you. Don't waste your vote on a candidate who can't even come up with an original campaign slogan. Bet your policies are really original too. 
Liberty, my foot! It's like, again, this is like a joke people came up with in the spur of the moment. Like, and just ran with because it's funny. It's Again, it's not like these people did like... You know, like, I, I read this thing where it's like... Fucking, like, Joe Biden was like, oh, oh, we need to come up with a nickname. President Tweety. And then, like, apparently, like, it took them, like, a bunch of email chains, like, fucking group emails and week-long correspondence to come up with that. And it's President Tweety. Whereas, with libertarians, it's like, they're getting drunk and smoking weed and partying on a fucking Zoom call. And they're like, oh, yeah, this is pretty funny. Let's post it on Twitter. You know, like, but, but to these people, it's like, oh. They're so unintelligent, they can't even come up with an original campaign. Like, as if, like, this is some grandiose project that they've been, like, planning for years. And it's like, yes, we're finally, like, it, like, oh, it's so bizarre. It's so weird. And get this off my screen. <sighs> Jesus. Fuck me. All right. I'm sorry. I'm just getting, oof. Hashtag transition to Biden. I don't, like, What? Like, imagine saying that. It's just so weird. More like, I'm with him. So you were just helping him get reelected. That doesn't mean... Okay. I'm with him. That joke doesn't mean anything because Joe Biden's also the pre like the, no the presumptive nominee for the Democrats. So I'm with him doesn't mean anything because both of the major party candidates are males. So, like, that doesn't mean it. Like, it's like, what the... Like, what? that's the best comeback you've got? You're with Trump. Go away and stop using I'm with her, which belongs to period, for some reason, at Hillary Clinton's space, period. The woman who should have been president. Imagine, right? Like you're a human being. Like this is the thing I like to do. Like close your eyes. We're going to have a thought experiment here. So you wake up. You stretch. Oh, yeah, I'm stretching. And then you open your eyes. And you look at your Hillary Clinton fucking mural on your ceiling. And you just think, damn, if only she were president. And then you, like, get up out of your bed and go about your day. Like, imagine being that person. Right? I, like, just, like, can, like, thinking of all the things that need to go wrong for a human being. The human brain, right? All these things that need to happen to a human brain. For them to put this out into the world, go away and stop using hashtag I'm with her, which belongs to, like, like these are words in the English language, but all of a sudden they belong to period at Hillary Clinton's space period. Like, it's just like, imagine, it only belongs to Hillary Rodham Clinton. Like, what does that mean? And then, of course, you have these guys, aka, I can't think of a good slogan, so I'm going to steal Hillary's and hope it goes well. Libertarians are the worst. We have our slogans. It's just a joke. I love how she's actually responding to these people. It's really... Like, again, these people, like, the Libertarian Party, like, if they nominated Vermin Supreme, it would have showcased some sort of, like, evolution, but clearly that was too much for them, so they nominated some jokester. Um, and it's like... It's just... It's a horrible and disrespectful joke. You can't even carry Hillary's hot sauce! What does that mean? Like... Leftists don't have the humor gene. They will literally scream, that's not funny, about things that are actually hilarious. So this is like, this is like, okay, so this person right here, Melissa fucking whatever, this is like multiple levels of cringe. So calling a Hillary Clinton neoliberal, like a Hillary Clinton supporting neoliberal, that's a leftist. And again, this is the thing with the Libertarian Party is most of them are just stupid and they get their news sources from alt-right fucking sources you know and that's the problem with that leftists don't have the humor the left can't meme that's why that's why hillary clinton had uh, her campaign slogan still with her still with her the left can't meme like imagine right your brain is so broken and busted and swamped by right-wing fucking alt-right media that you see hillary clinton and the first word that comes to mind wow that's a leftist. It's like, imagine being that fucking out of touch and just broken down. It's just wild. It's really strange. And again, yeah, no, you're not. And you're not funny either. You're just like there, like a stink bug. It's like, imagine writing that. Jesus Christ. You are a joke. I'm living rent free and you're like, 
like this is one of those things where it's like I love sto- like I, this stories as if this is some sort of like news article. This is just something funny I'm making fun of on Twitter. But I love moments like this where every single person like this is a perfect comment chain. This is a per- like looking at this right. This is a perfect in every sense of the word. This is a perfect comment chain, right? It's got the quote tweet. For the uh, uh, fucking the fucking libertarian chair candidate saying, I'm with her, not that one. And then the candidate for the libertarian party saying, I like I'm with her. What do you think? Making a joke, right? And then a neoliberal dumbass, like getting offended, right? Offended and defending Hillary's honor. And then her responding, saying it's just a joke, like which should be obvious, but for some reason it's not. And then a libertarian responding to the tweet where she says it's just a joke, saying that the fucking neoliberal Hillary supporter is a leftist. Oh, and the left can't meet. It's just like, again, every single tweet in this fucking image. This is a perfect image. You could frame this image on a wall, motherfucker. And every time I'd look look at it, like I'd walk into my room, I'd look at the fucking image on the wall, like on my door or whatever. And I'd be like, damn, that's the motherfucking cringe. Like, look at this shit. <laughs> like, like, what the? This is a perfect screenshot. I, I really, like, how did this happen? I didn't plan this. I just like stumbled upon this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a heart attack. I'm going to hyperventilate. This is so funny. Why are libertarians so stupid? Why are neo- neoliberals so stupid? And why is this shit so fucking funny? Seriously. Like, seriously. This shouldn't exist. This is one of those things where it's like, this random, like, like this makes me believe in, like, the whole, like, chaotic assortment. Like, there's no such thing as free will. We're all just chemical reactions responding to, like, fucking stimuli, right? Like, because, like, for all of these people to respond in this fashion and in this order, it's it's just like, it makes me believe that I'm in a simulation, like there's some divine intervention or something, like, I know I just contradicted myself, like, you know, like, I mean, it's just like one of those things where, again, like, my brain can't comprehend how hilarious this is, and so I'm just wildly speculating on how this fucking tweet chain even exists. Like, how does this exist? How the fuck does this exist? Seriously, can someone, like, identify, like, in what universe this assembly of fucking moronic behavior can possibly just, like, just come to fruition? I, it, this is, this is, wow, unbelievable, unbelievable, Jesus.